Hello there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Try New Things, where today we're going to start and finish our rainwater harvesting system for the new greenhouse. Now, it's going to take me days and weeks uh, to put it all together, uh, working on weekends, but for you, it's going to be one single video in a convenient package. Now behind me, you'll see this, uh, looks like a section of a rocket there, that's a 300 gallon tank I ordered online from Home Depot and uh, picked it up last week and here I'm starting the idea of what am I going to do to build a base to support it so it stays stable. So that's the first thing we're going to crack on is building the base, getting it level, putting it in the right spot to align with the uh, overflow drain I installed when I built the greenhouse and then stand up the tank. But that's where we're going to start today but definitely not where we're going to end so stay tuned to the end uh, to see the entire process. So here's a closer look at that 300 gallon tank. On the sides it's graduated which I'm not sure the benefit of that. It's not like I'm going to be able to see through it and see how much water's in it. But at the base we've got a single two inch threaded connection. At the top we've got a single one and a half inch threaded connection. On the very top, we've got a large port that unscrews and a smaller 6 inch port that unscrews, which is convenient that there's a smaller one because that's likely where I'll use as an inlet uh, for the rainwater. But yeah, there's the, uh, the tank. And here's the base that I have built so far. It's assembled out of uh, pressure treated 4x4s. It is not level, it's just giving me an idea where I'm going to put it with relationship to the overflow drain and the greenhouse. So the first thing I'm going to do is get that leveled up, get the tank in place, and start figuring out what we need for piping. So there's the base ready to go, all leveled up and compacted, and the uh, 4x4 grid installed. Time to put the tank on it. So the tank itself looks like it's just shy of seven feet tall. Now hopefully I've got enough clearance for my piping from my uh, rain gutters to go into the top. If I don't, I'm going to have to come back and lower the base a couple inches. Now I wish the, uh, the larger outlet was at the top and not the bottom for the overflow, but here's the inch and a half at the top. Plumb that down the overflow and then at the base use a reducer down to garden hose size and uh, install a Y so I'll have an outdoor tap and then run it through the wall for an indoor hose for the greenhouse. Here's a closer look at the manufacturer's sticker for this particular tank. Even though it comes from Home Depot it's a Chem Tainer Industries tank, 300 gallon. Now I just finished up installing these rain gutters on both sides of the greenhouse and I even installed these funky looking stainless screen inserts that go into the downspout to keep the leaves from going into my water tank which means I'll have to come up here and clean it out once in a while for sure but I thought these were pretty handy. But now for the good and the bad. So the good thing is the 300 gallon tank is tall which will give me maximum possible pressure uh, in the water flow inside the greenhouse without a pump as possible. The bad news is the 300 gallon tank is tall and it's actually higher at the top than the bottom of my downspout from the gutter. So I've got to come up with some other plan other than dumping the water into the top. And I, when I was doing my initial mock-up, one thing became apparently obvious and that was I was still going to have to lower the tank a bit. So I've gone ahead and dug it out and uh, lowered the platform about six inches. Hopefully where I'm going to connect the hose will still be above ground. 
Got the uh, rain gutters done on both sides. Now I picked these up at Lowe's and I can't tell you what line it is, but I think it's like three quarter scale or something. Um, much smaller than what we have on the house, smaller than we have on the barn. And if you look at the downspout, it's only a two inch by two inch square. So I'd say it's kind of perfect for a little greenhouse, but just curious why it seems so much smaller than what I'm used to. But anyway, now that I lowered the tank, uh, I think the top of the tank is in play again for intake uh, for the water from the downspouts. So I'm messing with that right now. It won't be the last time I change my mind on this design, I'm sure. And if it doesn't work, I'll go back to plan D. But anyway, I'll check back in with you in a minute. Well, there's the intake for the water. Start out with a three inch to inch and a half uh, coupler, which I cut a half inch off just to eke a little bit more height out of. It goes into a 90 degree elbow, then inch and a half, supported by these standoff pipe clamps, which I think are gonna do a pretty good job. And then it's run over into a T and down into the top of the tank. So now it's time to work on the overflow. So here's the overflow from the top of the tank. It's the one and a half inch threaded connection. But I'm gonna have to leave it there until the next clip because I'm 145 shy. I'll pick that up on my way home and you'll see it in the next clip. What a big difference a day makes. Mid 60s yesterday, snow today. Well, I can't very well run out there with my camera today. So I'm gonna finish up that 45 for the overflow and then uh, I'll probably risk it and run out there and take a few shots and show you, show you how it looks when it's done. But I'm gonna leave the camera in the barn while I go finish up the pipe work. Well, there's certainly no denying just how beautiful the snow is when it's falling. But it could have waited until December. I would have been happy with that. I'm going to run out there real quick, give you a rundown of what we've done with our water harvesting system and what's going to be left to do later on or in the spring. So again, there's our three quarter scale-ish uh, rain gutters that comes down into a horizontal inch and a half inch pipe that is mounted to the greenhouse using uh, standoff brackets. And then it dumps into the top of the 300 gallon tank, again, horizontal. Would have been better if I had a little bit more clearance and uh, could run a little bit downhill, but uh, water, water will run across horizontal. Now, once it's in the, uh, the tank, here we've got a one and a half inch 90 degree elbow running down into a 45, another 45, and then into a one and a half to three inch coupler. And that is the uh, drainage pipe that I put in before we built the greenhouse foundation. But that's going to be my overflow. And then down here at the base, not sure how good it's going to come in with all the snow as the background. But that's a two inch hole. So I got a two inch to inch and a half uh, threaded coupler. Then in an inch and a half to a three quarter threaded coupler. And then a three-quarter inch to garden hose coupler. And then you can see that I've got my split there. One garden hose, the one on the right, is going to be run into a tap that I'm going to install on the inside of the greenhouse. And the other one's going to be if you want to use it outside. Well, I feel like I have to apologize about the weather here at the end of the video. When I started that uh, rainwater harvesting system about a week, week and a half ago, we were mid-70s and wearing shorts. It was fantastic. Yesterday, like I said, mid-60s. Today, snow. Next 10 days, sub-freezing weather. So winter is here, but I'm glad to say I've got this pretty much done. Now, I still got to run a hose through the wall and into the greenhouse. I have bought a tap for that, um, but I'm going to wait until nicer weather or spring to hook that up. And then we're going to see what kind of pressure we have with a full tank. And if it's not enough, I do have an inline battery powered pump that I could use, but I'm hoping to avoid that if I can. 
But anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Try New Things. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until the next video and warmer weather, bye-bye.